Halloween yet although yeah by the time this vlog goes up it'll be a couple weeks away but in Magic Kingdom it's in full swing Halloween mode here it sure is they got Halloween stuff <laughs> everywhere it's pretty wild tonight we are going into Magic Kingdom to celebrate Halloween at Mickey's not so scary Halloween party some of the things on our must-do list is the parade the booty parade the Spooktacular Fireworks, I believe it's called, and uh, the Villain Show. Um, so all of the performances, we're gonna try to catch, they're kind of like boom, 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 back to back to back. So yeah. that is our hope. Um, we have a must try food list. So we're gonna try some of those good things. Let's go grab a bus to Magic Kingdom and start our spectacular evening. <laughs> Document yeah, this right, my sacred experience. Yeah, no problem. I love the bracelet too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so these only tighten but don't loosen, so just don't okay. pull on it. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right, Thank have so much you. fun. Thank Thanks. you. All right, we have the Mickey's Halloween party guide. Let's see what we got going on. So, in the guide, it does tell you all the specialty food all the different attractions that are going to be open for tonight i did a little research ahead of time so i kind of know what to expect but they do give you a guide once again character greetings entertainment times so i would say go ahead and pick one of these up and they're at the gates Jealous though, because look at that! I know! We made it! I can't wait for it to get dark because it gets so much better when it gets dark. Yeah. So excited! We are uh, walking up to the castle. We're gonna do some uh, pics, some photos, and then Chris does want to hit all of the major rides, all the mountains. I want to do all the roller coasters that are outside at night. Yeah. That, that's a must do for me. And sorry for screaming a little bit. They are pumping some music. It's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Chris and I got our photos taken, checked off. Because you know, you have to go get photos when you're fresh. Check. <laughs> uh, Tiana's, like I mentioned, is not doing a virtual queue or anything. And the wait right now is 40 minutes. So we're running over That's there. That's good enough for me. Are you kidding me? Like I'm, we're, we're getting on that. I'm sorry. Especially since the day one, our travel day, it was closed, and apparently it was closed yesterday. So we're gonna hop on, and uh, well, hopefully hop on. Want to hear my evil laugh? I do pretty good. <laughs> oh my! We're almost there. I'm excited. I saw 40 minutes and I was like, I know that's gonna be like 25. And I think it was right. Be, yeah.
Oh, oh my god. Going to get so wet. <laughs> yeah. Seattle was right. There are musicians out here and they are cooking. They sure can't play, but we've got to keep searching high and low. How long can I go? still looks good. Right? It's my hair that we're not going to talk about. Coming off of the ride, we were just super concerned about our camera equipment. We didn't care what we looked like. <laughs> I got pretty wet. Thankfully, my shoes didn't get wet. Oh, thank God. And I'm wearing sandals, so it's not that And wet. Roosevelt shirts are phenomenal, quickly drying. It's the yeah. material that they're soft. I'm okay. I was just more worried about the camera. Yes. It's weatherproof, so it shouldn't be an issue. But, wow. I mean, besides that, <laughs> it really was a fun ride. And oh yeah, that was a blast. Great ride. I mean, how it completely transformed from Splash Mountain to this. Oh yeah. Super cool, and all the animatronics and how they did it. Very neat. Uh, I did think it was funny that um, what was her name? Mama Odie. Mama Odie, the, the one animatronic towards the end. She wasn't working too good. <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, she ate too many beignets. Yep, it's very true. But yeah, that ride is awesome. I'm glad we got to do that. Yes. I highly recommend. You know, take the time to ride it. Obviously, because it's a new attraction. That was fun. And we only waited 20 minutes. Yep, I'd do it again. All right. Just without electronics and maybe the back row. Yeah. What do you want to head to next? Uh, seven Doors, we saw it was like what, five minutes? 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, that's about 10, so let's go do that. Let's go, this way. Y'all want to see the aftermath of Tiana's? Look at my hair. Did you see any on the way here? And what makes it worse is I don't even have a hairbrush with me. <laughs> I don't know about you, my hair looks great. His hair was in a hat. So this is what I'm gonna do. You may be asking yourself, Sam, Chris, I thought you were about to get on Seven Doors Mine Train. Well, we got in line for about a hot minute and realized the line was not really moving. It was a 35 minute wait and we are hungry. So we're sitting at the Friars Nook and we ordered off of the dining plan. We used a quick service credit. Chris got the bowl of bones, which is the bone-in specialty Halloween wings here at the party. I got the cheddar bacon and ranch tots, which you can get on a normal day, but I really love tots. Chris does not. 
In addition, the S'mores Cup is a party exclusive. It was $5.99. I did not use a snack credit because to me, $5.99, I could pay that out of pocket. We also got the Bayou Lavender Lemonade, which is something that you can get during normal park hours, as well as the Strawberry Lemonade Slush. That is the Strawberry Lemonade Slushy. Ooh, that's good. That's sour. Really? Yeah, I like that. Oh my god. It's so good. It's mm. missing alcohol, mm. but it's good. <laughs> it tastes like a pink Starburst. Yeah. Like a really sour pink Starburst. Yeah. I really like that. That's good. That's very refreshing. This is the Bayou Lavender Lemonade. So for the opening of Tiana's, they honor her with her own lemonade drink. Well, it makes it a Bayou Lemonade. Do they like steep swamp moss in it? Or maybe just someone plays a trumpet over it each time they serve it. It's big and green. That's really good. Okay, I can see why they call it the Bayou Lemonade. And it has lavender in it too, so I love lavender. That's what it is. It, it's got a like herbal... I like that. I really, really like that. I know it's been like a hit or miss online, but I really enjoy it. I will get that again. It tastes like sour swamp water, <laughs> but I like it. I've already... Uh, dug into my top. Yeah, you've already bit, dug but into that. We're not gonna focus on this because what we really came for is this. We got the bowl of bones, which I'm reading from the app. It's a bone in piggy wings, literally, that's what it says, fried with fresh jalapenos and tossed in a Coca Cola cherry barbecue. Now, if you're not on the dining plan, we use a quick service to get this. But if you're not on the dining plate, they were $13.49. It smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat a jalapeno first. Oh, good mm. oh. oh my. Yeah? Mm hmm. And you're a wing guy. Mm hmm. Whoa, this is good. Oh, yeah. I'm glad we got these. These are right up our alley. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Same. The meat's very tender. That Coca-Cola like cherry barbecue sauce, super delicious. You don't really get a lot of the Coca-Cola flavor, but it's there. Delicious. Well, Chris is gnawing down on his wings, so we're going to <laughs> so we're going to enjoy our little late dinner. Yeah. And we are going to try more snacks as much as we can. It's 8.45, so we've been here for about two, three hours. So we're gonna enjoy this, and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, tots demolished, wings demolished. It's time for Spooky! Spooky S'mores Cup. I didn't know you were gonna get this. I got us two forks, we're gonna have to eat it with the fork. That's okay. You wanna do the honors? Yeah, actually. You love s'mores. I'm not a big s'mores fan. It doesn't really taste like s'mores. Really? What is that, like, like crunch? A popping candy. Is that what it is, popping candy? Popping in my mouth. <laughs> I don't like that. I hate Pop Rocks. Just not for me. If you were to take the like popping candy out, the chocolate like Pop Rocks, I'd give it maybe like a 6 out of 10. Okay. But, you know. I, I say 8 out of 10. I would get it again, but it's not show stopping, but it's really good. It's definitely a you dessert, for it sure. Is a, it is a me dessert. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do next. We're going to figure that out. We're kind of winging it tonight. Ish. I mean, we have a plan, and yeah. we do have food items that we want to try. We did want to get Tiana's done, and that was the only ride we've done so far. Um, I think we're going to take a look at the wait time yeah. and try to get a game plan for the rest of the night. We have some snacks. Yeah. I think it's time to see some fireworks. I think so, too. I am excited for this because it's obviously only a show that they do for this party. Yes. And I hear it's 
no pun intended, spectacular. <laughs> it's called Disney's Not So Spooky Spectacular. Yeah, and I'm excited. I can't wait. So we're going to try to get some good spots and yeah, I'm just, let's, let's do it. I love fireworks. So enjoy the show.
so there was a wrench in our plans. Big Thunder was down. I don't really know. <laughs> it wasn't the wildest ride in the wilderness. No. So I wanted to grab a few more things from the Halloween food offerings because it is 1040 and the parade starts at 11.15, so we don't have that much time. We were hoping to squeeze in a ride, but it's okay. So we are at Pecosville. I got the Cajun burger, which is a Cajun spiced all beef patty topped with fried green tomato, Cajun andouille dip, and a remoulade on a black bun. I already had it. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, what would you rate it? Out of 10. Six out of ten. Okay. Here's the cross section. She knows me so well. Yeah, everybody already tried it. Kelly and Stuart here with us. Um, so I'm gonna go in. Yeah. That's good. It's not bad. It's it's not bad at all. Is that like a fried green tomato on there? Yes. Delicious. I had very low expectations for this because last year when I came to the party. Um, everybody, the girls and I, we all ate at Cosmic Rays, and I had that like spicy chicken sandwich, which is back, and I thought this was going to taste like that, which was not good. It's actually really good. The bun is a little like on the staler side than I would like, but the heat from the sauce, and I love fried green tomato. I love like spreads on my burgers. I'm a sauce girl, so I would, what did you rate it? Six out of ten. I would say six out of ten too. Don't go out of your way to get this, but it was right. pretty good value. Okay, after that spicy burger, you gotta have a little sweet treat. Sweet treat. <laughs> this is the spiced chocolate mousse bar. It has spiced chocolate mousse, dulce de leche, caramel glaze, and a sugar candy, and it looks adorable. The mousse was $6.29, and I forgot to mention the burger was $15.49. It reminds me of that, those cinnamon candies. You know what I'm talking about? What do they call it? Like Your red hot? Yeah, red hot. That's what they remind that's what this reminds me of. So the treat that we that Chris and I had earlier, that s'mores cup, I prefer that over this. This is good, but it's Honestly, it's lacking, I don't know, I'm just not vibing with the flavor, but if you guys want to try it, go ahead. A lot of this stuff is like for show, a lot of these food items are exclusive to the party. It's one of the reasons why Disney draws you into the party. So make your food list ahead of time, and that way you can kind of like, in the party, check off those things. For our trip, we all collectively discussed a list of food, and honestly, we got like four out of the like 15 items that we said, because the time just kind of like ran out. Like, it's 10.49 right now. It's crazy how time flies at this Halloween party. But it was very fun. I'm gonna enjoy this. Chris actually ran to Big Thunder because it was a 10 minute wait, so I said, go enjoy that. So we'll catch up with him later. I'm gonna watch the parade. What are you two doing? Parade. They're gonna join me for the parade. So uh, let's go see the Gucci parade. Gather round, friends, and hear my tale that started long ago on the Sleepy Hollow Trail. He's the bringer of Halloween fear. Beware, the Headless Horseman is here.
<laughs> Kelly and Stu left after the parade, which was absolutely fantastic. I think that's my favorite parade. So favorite fireworks, favorite parade. Chris is on Tron currently. It is 12.04, so Magic Kingdom is officially closed for the evening. The Halloween party is officially done. We closed it out from start to finish. I think we got a lot done. I will be honest, I wish we tried a little bit more of the food offerings, but there's always next time. I'm just waiting for Chris, and then uh, we're gonna skedaddle, so I'll, I'll pick it back up when I uh, get my husband. Okay, that, let me sit down. If you're not interested in the parades, take the time during the parades to go ride as many rides as you can, because the wait times are so low. I did, in the time that the parade was going, I did Big Thunder, Haunted Mansion, Seven Dwarves, Little Mermaid, and Tron. And I had the Little Mermaid ride all to myself. I was the only person on that ride. Five rides. So, I'm tired. It's about to be 12.30. I know my wife is. Tired as well. I think it's time to head back. It's now the next day. It is uh, just shy of 10 a.m. and uh, did a rookie mistake of not finishing the vlog last night, but it was for good reason. We didn't get back from the Halloween party till 1 1:30 in the morning. It was so late. 
It, I mean, I'm pretty sure it had a lot to do with me trying to ride as many rides as I can. So Samantha wasn't able to cover that. If you go check over our Instagram channel, you'll see in our highlights when Samantha was at the parade with Kelly and Stu. I know that during those parades, wait times go significantly down. So I got to ride five rides in like, I don't know, half an hour. If I hadn't have done that, we probably would have got back to the resort a little bit earlier, but bless my wife, she allowed me to kind of just do some things. So out of a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your Halloween experience? Like a five out of 10, six, six out of 10. I'm not, for the money, I definitely feel, granted it's just my honest opinion, I definitely feel like it's a little overhyped, but there are people who go out of their way to, because that's what they enjoy, mm -hmm. you get to dress up, and I understand it's for the kids, but for like someone like me, I'm not really big into the, into the parades, I'm really not big into the characters, even though I always talk to them and whatnot. I'll give it... I know you love it. I want to give it an 8 out of 10 because I really enjoy it. It's it's really fun. I love the parade. I loved the fireworks. Those were the best fireworks I've ever that, seen. That right there mm -hmm. was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I wish we could go back and watch the Hocus Pocus show. Mm -hmm. That looked really cool. Um, but yeah, that fireworks show was, I think, one of the best ones I've ever seen. It was really cool. Yeah. That being said, Wonderlanders, thank you so much for your watch and your support. While you're at it, please like this video, subscribe if you have not, for all of our future content and more vlogs for this trip. This will be the next vlog for you, but today we're going to Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon, baby! <laughs> it's a little sneak peek into next week's vlog. As always, thank you, and let's see what happens next. Peace.